Megatron must be stopped no matter the cost. One shall stand, one shall fall. Till all are one. guys today's episode is i'm comparing masterpiece blasters um i was gonna do a triple threat match between fans toys deformation spaces and um kfc's uh, transistor but uh it's a lot of transformation so i like transforming and stuff so i decided not to bring up KFC as KFC is, is super old and this is technically episode 4 of my old versus new series but um, this one is older. Uh, Deformation Space is older compared to the Fans Toys Blaster. Um, sorry, this guy is called Deformation Space uh, Recording Alliance and Fans Toys is slightly newer. Uh, was released a little bit after, probably like a year or so. Um, he's called Fans Toys Recorder. I think that's his name. Yeah, Recorder. Well, anyways, let's um, get right to it. So let's look at, um, you know, we'll look at deformation spaces first. This guy is inexpensive. He's actually, he's a great deal going on with him at, um, you know, like say if you buy it from AliExpress and stuff. I seen the lowest, I think it was like $60, maybe $60 Canadian on those special days and stuff. But again, um, Basically, AliExpress is a hit and miss because uh, I don't know if they're trustworthy. Um, there's a lot of times where stuff doesn't come and stuff. And yeah, you know, Chinese sellers, you're taking a risk, right? So you got to watch out for those dirt cheap prices. Sometimes it's too good to be true. Okay, well, let's start here. Um, he came He came with Ramhorn. And here's Ramhorn right here, right? Came with Ramhorn. Uh, he comes with two of his speaker things, if you guys can see there. You know, I don't really use it. You know, I just display my toys, right? I don't play with them. But um, yeah, I'm pretty sure he comes with different face plates too. I'm not 100% sure. I did not dig out my storage to look for it. Um, you know, like I don't want to go down to my crawl space and look f for the accessories and stuff. I didn't take all of it out of the box. But yeah, we'll start. We'll start off with. Um, let's take off his gun here. We'll start off with uh, Re Recording Alliance first. I think that's his name, right? Recording Alliance or Alliance Recorder or whatever his name is. Well, okay, so he's got ratcheted shoulders here. Pretty good ratchets, pretty good joints, very solid. He can look up, he can look down, slightly down. Um, he's got shoulder, you know, he could raise his shoulder about that high. Actually, quite far, he can go all the way. Wow, he's a gymnastic person. He can, he's very flexible. Gymnast. So, and then he's got full on bicep bend completely all the way, if you can see there. Fingers are fully articulated. What else does he have? Let's see here. Um, no butterfly joints, though, on his shoulders. He's got ratcheted hips. Go all the way quite far up and quite far back, too, I think. No, that's actually it's hindered. Something is hindered. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to um, push it anymore. But that's the far I can go. Farthest I can go backwards. He's got knee bends all the way, more than ninety degrees. He's got um, hip swivel right here. Ankle rockers, just a very actually no. He can go pretty far. I haven't really played with this guy before, so I don't know exactly what he's capable of but um yeah and his leg can raise all the way up and he can pretty much do the full-on van damme right here van damme kick he can do the full-on split van damme splits but yeah he's pretty good oh and one other thing is he's got an insane ab crunch well i wouldn't say insane but pretty good ab crunch if you guys can see there yeah, he's pretty good. Definitely bang for your buck if you pick up this guy. He's definitely a great option. You don't really need to buy the expensive fans toys, and everyone knows how expensive fans toys is today, right? 
But yeah, let's look at Fan's toys after. Let's put this away. Well, his quality back. Sorry, I missed out some things. Um, yeah, this is when you open up his uh, cassette thing here. I think it can fit three cassettes. I think that's what it can fit. Close it back up. But yeah, he's he's mostly plastic. His quality build. Um, he might. I think these might be die cast. His hips here, but everything else is plastic. But he's not a light masterpiece. He's pretty, he still has some weight, a little bit of weight to him, right? But let's put him away. Let's look at Fans Toys here. This guy has heft. Fans Toys, everyone knows, is like full-on die-cast uh, build quality and stuff. He comes with... Is it Rewind? I think it's Rewind. I think I got it right. Correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments below. But yeah, he comes with Rewind. He also comes with this too big... Um, speakers here and they're more like you know like uh, gold chrome looking it's got a shinier polished finish compared to uh, deformation spaces where it's like dull definitely the quality is here um shoulder ratchets you can you can hear those ratchets pretty st strong stiff ratchets as well um his arm can go that high it can't go as far as uh deformation spaces I mean, his shoulder shoulder raise cannot go further than that. He's got no butterfly joints, elbow joints up to here. Far enough, but definitely deformation space is further, just slightly further. He can look, uh, he can look up if you force it, and he can barely look down. Um, fully finger articulation. Each finger is articulated. If you can see there, his hip going upwards is ratcheted if you can hear there you could full on also do the van damme full on van damme splits you can if you guys can see there and then he's got more way more than 90 degree uh knee bends uh hip swivel did I miss? Oh, I missed it. Bicep swivel. I think deformation space has that as well. I'm pretty sure it does. Let's do a quick check here. Pretty sure it does. Yeah, it does have a uh, bicep swivel. A little bit stiffer on, on the stiffer side. Waist. I also forgot to show you guys the waist on deformation space, but he can also do waist swivel. Um, ankle rockers. About that far. And yeah. I would say no, but oh, sorry, no ab crunch, just very little. That's the downfall of Fans Toys. Like I said, Fans Toys is a hit and miss to me with articulation. For something this expensive, you want full on articulated, you know, uh, masterpiece. Like for myself, I would want my masterpiece to be fully articulated if I'm spending that that much money. But yeah, so Fans Toys to me is. A lot of hit and miss with articulation and stuff, but the build is there. Definitely the quality build is there. Yeah, he's pretty solid. I would say Fans Toys definitely um, wins in the G1 tune accuracy. But again, you can you can see it. He's, uh, deformation space is slightly scales much taller too, as you can see there. Let's show you there. That why it's not focusing. Focus, focus for me. There we go. Yeah, so... You can see there, uh, deformation space slightly stands taller than uh, Fans Toys uh, Recorder does. You know, Fans Toys Blaster. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, the quality is basically, you know, outside plastic, but you could tell it's die cast inside. Uh, die cast, you know, right here, hips, just like uh, deformation spaces. Um, the knees, um, you can see they're die cast, die cast joints and stuff. So one thing I, like, this is what I'm going to point out. One thing I don't like about Fans Toys' new design, there's one thing, is basically when you bend these knees, his knee joint right here fully exposes. Like, they, I don't know why they choose this color, chrome. You know, you can see it. You know, when he's bending his legs and stuff, it just fully exposes his knees and stuff, right? Where, let's show you guys here. Hold on. This fans toys like to tend to, I know this, this tends to uh, kind of like lean backwards a bit. It's like, you know, that song, lean back, you know, that hip hop song. But yeah, if you look at, 
deformation spaces, it's completely black. And it's not exposed like how Fans Toys is. Let me show you guys again. Fans Toys knee joint right here. Completely sticking out where deformation spaces, if you guys could see there. Deformation spaces and joints are much cleaner, like the knee joint and stuff. But yeah, this is the difference. But again, price-wise, I think when I first bought this guy, he was around 260 Canadian. Something around there, 260, 270. I don't remember exactly how much was it. This guy, when I first bought this guy, uh, th uh, I, when I first bought uh, deformation spaces, I think I paid 120 Canadian, 120 or 130 Canadian. And like I said, you can find them on sale and stuff, like great sale prices. So definitely bang for your buck versus if you want the premium and stuff, uh, you know, premium finish and premium look, then sure, spend the money on this guy. But I don't think he is worth almost double the price of this character, especially on the sale prices that you can get him. He's technically three three times or four times the price of this of this uh, deformation spaces if you factor the discount prices that you can get on him. Where Fans Toys, you know, you barely, when does Fans Toys ever have discount prices? Very rare, right? But yeah, that's my opinion. Fans Toys, like to me, Fans Toys, everyone thinks they're king. Like, yes, I have, Myself, I'm like I'm not a huge fanboy of fans toys, but I do get the fans toys version because I like fans toys, right? So I would say fans toys, yes, they do win in the uh, the quality category, but for articulation wise, they don't like they lose a lot in articulation. And to me, it's more of an expensive statue. That's what fans toys is to me, where. The other third-party brands, especially the Chinese brands here, no, I mean, they're both Chinese, right? But Chinese brand, like the cheaper ones, the less expensive, these guys have way better art articulation. Deformation Space has better articulation. Maki Toys has better articulation. The modern Takara has better articulation than Vans Toys. A lot of stuff, like, so, not saying every bot, there's some bots that are great, but Blaster and Acoustic Wave, like, you know, like Soundwave and stuff, not very good articulation. You know, especially especially the older stuff too. Like uh, if you're talking about, uh, I think one was really bad was uh, Hydra, which is six shot. He has really bad articulation. But let's get back to uh, this uh, this review here. Um, yeah, to me, like I like to dynamically pose my masterpiece where I would pose them like you know like full on. Let's here. Let's do this. Let's do this full on like complete pose and. You know, get the gun in his hand. Let's hold on a second here. I'm trying to get his gun in his hand. Hold on. I'm trying to work. Come on, I can't see. There we go. So I like to pose my guys, you know, like full on pose, dynamic poses and stuff, right? That's what I like to do. Where fans toys, I try to do that. He could do it too. He can, but without that, without that um, ab crunch, it it does minus a lot of you know like dynamic posing that he can do. But yeah, he can pose decently well too. But uh, most of the time, fans' toys to me, it's like you do the A stance, you know, the standard A stance pose. But yeah, I can't even get his gun in his hand. Let's see here. There we go. Let's try it and see if I... Yeah, he's just missing that ab crunch. I just wish he had more, more of an ab crunch. I don't know why Fans Toys doesn't give ab crunch on a lot of their bots. It just doesn't make sense. But yeah, it's like I just like the crazy dynamic poses and stuff, right? Like what, uh, what deformation has to offer versus what Fans Toys has to offer. Well, sorry, sorry, I'm completely off here, but yeah, definitely. Um, okay, let's look at their alt molds here. Oh, uh, one quick note, I, I messed up here. So I figured out why 
deformation spaces scaled so much uh, taller compared to the fans toys version is because I had his hips extended like extended outwards yeah if you guys if you guys can see there it was extended so I pushed it back down so he doesn't s tower him like crazy but if you can see their height is almost the same yeah deformation space is still a, a, you know slightly taller by millimeters we're talking about here right so yeah that's what I messed up here but um, yeah let's now let's get to on to the alt mode here okay guys I finally got these transformed into the alt in their alt modes um oh that took a, a little bit I watched Mgo's video on transformations to be honest for third party Yes, third party is a nightmare to transform. There's so many steps. You got to flip out so many panels, clip this in, clip that in. You know, I'm pretty sure a lot of uh, third party transformer masterpiece third party collectors know about this already. But uh, to be honest, uh, however, to be honest, Recording Alliance. Sorry, one second. Fix my focus here. What is going on with my focus? There we go. Okay, Recording Alliance wasn't that bad. He was actually... Pretty easy to transform for a third party uh, masterpiece. You know, like it took me, I think, no longer than 10, 15 minutes following MGO's steps. It was very simple. Where fans' toys, oh my god, I struggled. I was struggling trying, because it's my, the first transfer, uh, first time transforming this guy. Um, a lot of clips were like just super tight, couldn't get them off and stuff. Um, my hat, because because it's summertime. Um, my hands were like sweating and you know how fans toys is die cast a lot of it's die cast and polished plastic as, as, My hands were just slippery on this guy. He was just taking forever to transform definitely a nightmare to transform fans toys Wasn't so bad on deformation space, but both look good You know they both very close in look, you know, but to be honest who really cares about the alt mode, right? like myself I care more about the robot mode versus the alt mode look, but again, you know, to each their own. If they want, if they like the alt mode, they like to play with their toys. Then yeah, alt mode might be more important to you. But yeah, I would say some heft. Yeah, he's got heft deformation space. So not actually. Yeah, you can feel uh, fan toys is a slightly heavier. Not by a lot, but he is heavier. But um, yeah, price-wise, definitely bang for your buck. Deformation space. Do get me wrong. Fans toys, yes, everyone knows they're top quality and stuff. But the prices they're asking for today is quite outrageous. I remember when fans toys put about five years ago was not that high priced. Um, I think a mini bot would go for like eighty dollars Canadian, ninety dollars Canadian around there. Today they're like one fifty, one sixty for a mini bot. Um, I don't know what that equates to into U.S. dollars because I live in Canada, right? Oh, by the way, today is Can a happy you know Can July first, so today is Canada Day. So happy Canada Day, everyone, to my fellow Canucks out there. But thank you for watching this review. Um. You know, I don't make much of these reviews as, again, it takes a lot of time because one thing I don't like about doing these reviews is you got to transform them. And then I got to take time to transform them back into robot mode. Like, I think Fans Toys took me almost 45 minutes to transform following MGO's steps. And this is just getting it into alt mode. Now I have to transform them back into robot mode. You know, so that's why I don't do much of these reviews. I, I try my best. But, um, you know, if you guys have someone that you want me to review in my collection, just post down below and ask. You know, like, if I have time, I'll make the video, right? But, um, again, thanks for watching this video, guys. I appreciate all the support and love on my channel. Um, you know, just thanks so much. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to, to my channel. It would help out a lot, you know. And, you know, if you guys like this video, give a thumbs up and everything. You know the deal. But anyways, thank you so much, guys. Till all are one. Till next time.